Last week, you had a hot mic moment that got some attention. <laughs> Let's just say you used some colorful language. Who doesn't? Not me. Um, I'm a Christian. But, yeah, <laughs> but it, it seems like you were criticizing President Biden for starting another war. I don't think you're alone in concerns of that, but is that true? Like, what was behind <laughs> this? Well, I'm going to hit that with a cute no comment. This video is brought to you by TatumStore.com. TatumStore.com. Get the merch link in the description section. This brand new rematch shirt. I thought, you know, I, I like it. Y'all tell me what you think about it. I think Joe Biden got way too many muscles in this one because he's about to get knocked out. Anyway, uh, get you the shirt on Tatum Store. Like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell to get notifications anytime I go live or make a video. Y'all already know what to do. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, ladies, welcome back to the Officer Tatum Show. Jory going straight to hell talking about talking the stuff she's saying. I don't like when people say that. Just stop calling yourself a Christian. I mean, let me just say this. Let me try not to be. It's it's okay to judge because I think it's fair judgment. You, the fruit, you know, you should know them by their fruit. And I see her fruit is is poisonous. But what I will say is that it doesn't really matter what she call herself because people can be ignorant as she is, and still try to pursue Christ. I don't think she's pursuing Christ. I don't think I don't think these people are. It's just you grow up in the church, so you default to saying you're a Christian because it make you feel better. Now, Joy, I want to ask you because we, as as people that wear microphones every day, <laughs> we can relate to this. But last week you had a hot mic moment that got some attention. <laughs> Let's just say you used some colorful language. Who doesn't? Not me. Um, I'm a Christian. But yeah, <laughs> but it it seems like you were criticizing President Biden for starting another war. I don't think you're alone in concerns of that, but is that true? Like, what was behind this? <laughs> well, I'm going to hit that with a cute no comment. No, but I, what, what I'm going to say is I am a person that I, I'm a study war no more kind of Christian. I'm a red letter Christian. I don't believe in war, whether it is the governor of Texas literally trying to start another civil war. What, like, what is she even talking about? Texas is trying to start a civil war because they're trying to prevent their state from getting invaded. And the federal government isn't doing anything about it. The people have to come through Texas. What are we even talking about? That's, that's, these people just make up stuff. That's not even true. That's not even a real thing. He's going to start a civil war with who versus who? The federal government versus Texas? That's what what are you saying? Let let her let her finish. Over an issue that his party could solve tomorrow. There's literally a bill that they just yeah. could pass, right? And and do the border security issue. Or whether it's in the Middle East, I was deeply against the Iraq war. I was again I'm a, I'm an anti war person. And so, you know, I don't wanna say that there's any side that is specifically to blame here, but I think the idea, I think for most Americans, we're war weary. I think we're all weary of conflict, yeah. and we would like to see us progress economically, socially, try to bring this country back from the brink of racial hatred. Let's not do war at all. Yeah. Okay. Let's not kill people. Let's not. Let's not kill people. And, and, and I mean, what's happening in Gaza has shaken everyone. Like, let's not do that. If well, see, let me just address this real quick, the elephant in the room. She knows that she does not have respect or she yeah she does not have respect for joe biden she knows she don't and it slipped out on a hot mic but because she's loyal to the devil and she, and the truth is not in her when she get pressed on it she can't even acknowledge that she's upset with joe biden over the fact that he is getting us into another war she did not mind naming Greg Abbott and claiming he wants to get us in the Civil War, but she refused to name Joe Biden and say he's trying to get us in a, in a world war. Don't you see how that works? She got caught on a hot mic talking about Biden, but in her response, she talked about, she spoke about every single person except for Joe Biden. These people are not who you think they are. And y'all know Joy Reid is a, sack of manure let's play clips clip two 
I want to play that clip from Troy Reed. Anyone can win if people vote for them. So yes, he has an absolutely a chance to win. And as you said, every candidate starts out with a good 45% and then it's a matter of the rest. The challenge for President Biden is that on the facts, the economy is far better now than it was under Donald Trump, who failed in his one job react to a crisis. As president, you're a crisis manager. He was hit with one big crisis, the pandemic, and flubbed it so thoroughly we were at 14% unemployment. Yeah. Yet people, I and hear people, people died. Because and a million people died, not even some people. Time out, time out, time out, time out. You know how stupid this is. I wish that I could have a, a radio show on, a, on just a liberal network so I could just, just gun them every chance I get. This fool said, all Trump had to do was handle a crisis, which is a crisis like we never seen before. Also, each state made the decision to shut down and keep the country open. And what the does Donald Trump have to do with what you did in your own state? He's the president. He can't control whether you keep your state open or close your state. He can't control that uh, uh, Cuomo is sending elderly people back to nursing homes where they got COVID and died because they have seven comorbidities on average. That's not Trump. How is Trump responsible for that? Trump, how, how is Trump, what the, what was Trump going to do? He's going to go to everybody's house and give them an antidote? What are we even talking about? Trump tried to push hydroxychloroquine and they shamed him. A lady which I think, don't know if it's true, killed a husband in Arizona, giving him koi pond cleaner because it had uh, uh, hydroxychloroquine as a, a small ingredient on the back while it says do not allow humans to consume it, and it's a poi, koi pond cleaner that she poured in his drink. And they try to blame that on Donald Trump. Donald Trump came out with the vaccine which I think is the, uh, a horrible thing. It is. But to the left, they should be they should be worshiping at the altar of Donald Trump for coming up with the vaccine that they tried to force everybody to take. They just come out and say things that are just blatantly not true and, and you can factually disprove them. Donald Trump was, was okay with opening up. The, California still stayed shut down. Florida didn't stay shut down. All the liberals went to Florida to hang out on the beach. What did Donald Trump do that Joe Biden wouldn't have done? Okay, uh, let's continue the clip. A million people died yeah. because of him. Mm -hmm. And yet you have people saying, I had more money, I was richer under Trump. Not true, not possible. And the fact that he overcame his own objection to the STEMI, <laughs> signed a bill Democrats passed to give you a STEMI, mm -hmm. then took credit for the STEMI by putting a letter <laughs> in the thing when you got the STEMI that said, you're welcome, Donald Trump, yeah. even though he was against the STEMI. Yeah. And now you got people in the street saying, well, Trump gave me a STEMI. No, he didn't. Nancy Pelosi gave you a STEMI. Uh, on one hand, they say it's the president's fault, the president's fault, the president's fault about COVID, but then when, when they put out stimulus checks, they want to say, oh, it's the Democrats, it's the Democrats. It's the Democrats. Well, Donald Trump has to pass these things. He just took credit for it. No, you, you're giving him credit and taking credit from him when you so choose. If he's the president, then everything that happened in, in, under his administration should be counted towards him, correct? Good, bad, and indifferent. But you know how they play the game. Hold the phone. I'll be back after the break.